I broke this arm and I got a cool scar. Metal is stronger than bone, I think, so we got metal in there to hold it together. Broken this foot, I snapped this ankle the day before a show. I never got it looked at, but it swelled up so big. Blew out my knee. That was definitely the gnarliest one I've had. It's part of the game. The first time I realized what skating was, my brother had the Tony Hawk video game. Over time, I would watch him play this game and I'm like, these dudes are literally flying. I was so drawn to it. So I remember my brother wouldn't let me play, but he did get a board for Christmas. And I'm not sure if he tried it and just got hurt or wasn't into it, but I went into the garage, snagged that thing from him, and I've pretty much been skating ever since. I always loved the idea of being an athlete and working hard and developing yourself into, into greatness. Growing up in Tennessee was really funny because there was only like three people that skateboarded or knew what a board was at my high school, but I just had that dream and had that passion. And I, I would say skateboarding kept me grounded in a way that when my friends, you know, would end up staying out late or partying or doing whatever on a Friday night, I didn't want to do any of that because I knew it was such a long shot for me to fulfill the dream of becoming a pro skater. I was like, man, I don't want to have anything hold me back from pursuing this. I did feel a lot of fear. I did feel a lot of isolation at times because people didn't understand why I chose to do the things I did. But having that mindset to just go for it anyway, you know, you can see it in your mind, you can achieve it in your life. And that's what I really chose to hang on to at that time. I was blessed to grow up in a Christian home. I had that relationship with God and I knew skateboarding was a gift. And I was like, all right, God, if I'm gonna go all in on this, I gotta commit this thing to you. And he was able to just give opportunities and you know, really just set me up to have success in what I did. And around that time when I'm getting ready to graduate, I ended up getting found by the Nitro Circus. <laughs> Travis Pastrana saw me trying some tricks in the foam pit and he's like, dude, we got to have you join our tour. And on my 18th birthday, May 10th, 2012, I ended up flying to Australia for my first tour and I've been touring with them ever since. I'll never forget my first show. I'm nervous as can be on my very first tour, but the guy that goes first in my first show crashes and the crowd just erupts and I'm like, it doesn't matter if I land this or not, they're still gonna love what we're doing. So that took a lot of the pressure off and uh, it's fun doing those shows because you can really kind of let yourself off the hook and just try stuff. If I remember correctly, I don't think I made one trick the whole first show. Having people see something in you that you can't see in yourself is, is what really can unlock somebody. Have, you know, the greatest action sport athlete of all time, Travis, come and find something in me. I don't think I would have done half the stuff that I've done on a skateboard if that moment hadn't occurred. And it all started with that one word of encouragement. You gotta make some noise, here we go, Beaver I love that the Bible says that God will work all things for good for those that love Him. A few years ago, I had the worst injury of my career. It was the first year I got invited to X Games and I blow out my knee at the skate park. Completely rupture my ACL, don't get to go on tour, don't get to compete in the X Games. I have to get reconstruction surgery on my, on my ACL. And so there went all my income, there went all those things. But I chose to trust that God had something good in it. And that journey was transformational for me. And it, it really pulled me back from life being about what I do to being about who I am. Motivation to me comes from a place of gratitude and I truly believe that we can feel great by being grateful. We're given a gift, right? Life is such a gift and we can either choose to see it as that way or we can choose to see it as, you know, things happening to us and that it's this thing we gotta get through. What we feed grows and what we starve dies. So if we wanna start seeing more things to be grateful for, let's appreciate what we have. Can I be content if everything was taken away? And my answer is yes, because my joy isn't rooted in what's around me or my circumstance. My joy is rooted in Christ and, and what God's done for me and His love. And that's what I wanna share with other people, that life is not just a means to get by, but it's an opportunity to thrive.
you. What is happening? Happy Motivational Monday. Happy Motivational Monday. Happy Motivational Monday. I'm so passionate about motivating and inspiring and encouraging people because I've seen what that can do in my life. I've seen people come and just plant one seed of encouragement and that grow into something beautiful. And that's what I want for every single person. If you have a dream, follow it and stop at nothing till you get there. If you develop it, if you trust God in it, it's gonna be something incredible. Hey, this is Beaver Fleming and you're watching This Is Me TV. Pull the, pull the, thank you for watching, sharing, ringing that bell and dropping a comment below. We love creating these inspirational face stories for you and thousands of others. Now, all the stories on this channel are brought to you in partnership with Impactus and are donor funded, which means people have given so that you can be encouraged in your faith. Yeah, people care that much about you. And today, we'd like to invite you to be a part of this mission with us. This Is Me TV exists to encourage and empower the online generation to live unashamed for God and use their God-given gifts to influence culture. We do this by creating stories like the one you've just watched. And to date, we've had over 1.8 million viewers watched and be encouraged in their faith right here. It's mind blowing to see how God has and will continue to use This Is Me TV. So would you be willing to join us today and help us equip this generation for a life of purpose and godly impact? The link's below or head on over to impactus.org. Much love from us all and thank you so much for considering this partnership.